Hi, kitty cats. It's been a long time since I last had a really good cry. And I'm not going to do it now either, so no need to scroll away just yet. But all of my content recently has been very positive. After our trip to Thailand for gender-affirming surgery, the perfect healing, the deep insights it brought, I have everything a transgender woman could want. Everything. And so I've believed I have no right to complain about how I've been feeling. Instead, I created content that seems thinner and thinner in a quality I hadn't yet been able to name. But I woke up this morning and I realized the quality is connection. When I had a major goal to achieve, it was easy to throw myself into it and let my energy flow outward. After a string of disappointments in the past few weeks, not related to gender-affirming care at all, I sense I'm withdrawing, contracting my energy. I knew the missing quality was connection when I woke up and saw the tarot card of the day it was the Four of Swords. Now, I don't generally go out much for the card of the day because it's usually too little information for me to use. But the Four of Swords is about rest. It's about recognizing when the hard effort is over and withdrawing to renew yourself in preparation for the next effort. A year and a half ago, a friend of mine told me when I don't feel well, I need to create content. If nothing else, I should capture how I felt and experience it. So I'm telling you now because I know I've stopped watching, I've stopped reading, I've stopped commenting, I've stopped connecting. I've been trying to keep going on the fumes of my last hard effort, and it's not working. Not for me, anyway. So I'm going to take some time off. I'm going to rest next week and be back at my live stream next Saturday, September 14th, 2024. In the meantime, I'm going to think about what interests me now, what I've called my big problems, those questions I must answer, and then I will bring that back to you. So see you next week. Bye.